Uh, hello everybody, Michael Fillmore here, wearing the green shirt. You tease, and you flirt, and you shine all the buttons on your green shirt. You can please yourself, but someone's gonna get it. <laughs> green shirt, it's a song by Elvis Costello. <laughs> yeah, I love Elvis Costello. You know, like when I was in, I started getting into Elvis Costello like freshman year in high school. It was just, I was starting to song write, and it was like, you know, it's like I didn't know what the right song was about, and then you like listen to Elvis Costello and his early attractions album, and you go, man, he's writing about anything. It's just great. He writes about things I never heard anybody else write about, and that was a big thing for me. You know, he writes these kind of catchy tunes, but he writes it in about weird things and things that no one would write about. But I loved it. I was like, damn, I like that. That's cool. It's unique. Yeah, so that's what that's the thing. And uh, yeah, I have people that I like write about interesting things. And I just kinda listen to someone who just writes love song. It's like Paul does that. But that's Paul's thing, you know, he's he's the he's the love guy. <laughs> you know, but he doesn't only write about the love song. He writes about other stuff, but yeah, but um yeah. But all the you know, I don't know. You know, Sting would write about a lot of things. That's why I was a Sting fan when I started songwriting. It was like, yeah, he's writing about Pinochet and they dance alone. He's writing about, you know, what else? He's writing about all these different things. What is love? Is the seventh wave? He writing about we work the black seam together. You know, it's like all these things. Russians. He's writing about all these interesting things. You know, there's like things we were thinking about. You know, especially in the 80s, you know, and I like that. So it was just kind of, yeah, it was, yeah. Who else was a big influence when I started songwriting? You know, besides the Beatles and Sting and Elvis Costello. Who else did I really like? Um, those are like the, the, the main guys I liked. You know, like uh, the wall, no, not the wall, but animals. I think animals was a bigger influence on me than the wall. I think animals is a better album, Pink Floyd album, and this we year I think you know, and, uh, of course everybody loved Dark Side of the Moon, but yeah, those, those the seventies Pink Floyd I like. I don't like all the, I don't like the earlier stuff. I'm not not really. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that, that you know. I'm, Things that make you think, songs that make you think a little bit, songs that make you think about society, or things around you, songs that, that's the kind of songwriters I like, you know, I've always liked, you know, I was like, yeah, that's, that's cool, I like that, that's about something cool, because on, on animals, I like that old pigs, sheep, and dogs thing, the kind of animal farm, the way people are, it's because I've always that, a lot of people resemble animals, certain animals, that's just, that's just how it is. Uh, it's true. It's like you know, we do uh, people who have na nature. There, you know, we're kind of animals ourselves. I mean, yes, we're just animals who can who can kind of try to make ourselves sound all grandiose and wonderful because we have speech and kind of and you know we can kind of you now and we have ego, big ego, so we. Tend to sell ourselves a little bit better, I guess. But we're innately an animal, <laughs> you know. Some of us kind of more sheepish, some more like dogs, and you know, and mean. And dogs are mean. They can be very mean. Yeah, dogs. Dogs barking. They use dogs are nice just because they're cause we feed them and this is for their survival but dogs when you see dogs and dogs they get kind of rawr, rawr. dogs don't like other dogs not really because other dogs don't feed the dogs and we feed the dogs so they like us <laughs> that's how it is right? they need us <laughs> apparently and then you get the, the pigs and then the sheep yeah very good way of seeing the three ways of people <laughs> 